Welcome to another episode of Question Answer Wednesday. I'm Freddie Rubino, my wife Christine. Hey everybody. Christine, last week people said, Yeah. Speak up. Well, you're 10 miles away from me. Well, come sit over here. I don't wanna. Why? Uh... What the fuck? Jeez. Because I'm over there. I'll bring the whole fucking dining room table over there. You should accommodate me. I'll accommodate you in the fucking morgue. Anyway, welcome to Question and Answer Wednesday. I'm Freddie Rubino. Tomorrow, I'll be in Naples, Florida, uh, Off the Hook Comedy Club. Saturday, New Jersey, Springfield, New Jersey, The Comedy Cove. Great club. Come down and see me. And then, after that Sunday afternoon, Piccolo Mondo Italian Restaurant. Dinner show in Pottstown, Pennsylvania. Right now, I got a little Jim Beam peach. I never did the Jim Beam peach. But I think I like it. Because I like all those flavored bourbons. And here we go. That's a big drink. I'm a big drink. So thank you, everybody, for tuning in. Uh, don't forget to share if you missed my cooking show, if you missed my podcast, go back and watch it. It's magnificent. A lot of good uh, feedback on the lemon pasta. It's amazing. And you know what I love to hear? People saying things are a little tight. <coughs> Fed my whole family for $5. Very nice. You know why nobody could hear you? No. Because you got the mic. They can hear me, they can't hear you. No, they can't hear you neither. How about Van Gogh? Anyway, ask a question. Joanne Alzheimer says, what was the best vacation you ever took and why? The best vacation we ever took was... On my 50th birthday. The 50th birthday, we got a suite at yeah. the Grand Floridian overlooking the pool. We bought the cake from Disney that lit up. It was like a big wedding cake. And I got it for free? And they wheeled it into the room. And I got it for free. Yes, you did. Because they messed up. They fucked up. I fucking paid two and change, almost 300 for the fucking stupid shit cake that's got a little light in it. It was beautiful. It was beautiful and it was delicious. It was. So... I take her out to dinner saying, all right, we come back to the room. It's supposed to be there. All decorate. Where's the fucking cake? So I send my son down. I go, oh, tell the fucking front office. Get me the cake. He goes down there. He goes, he goes in the kitchen and the cake's just sitting there. And all the, they're taking pictures of it. Yeah. Like they never made a cake before. So I said, oh, I called up the front desk. I got to say, Disney don't fuck around. Mm -hmm. I said, you know, it was supposed to be there for a surprise, and now it's not there. The woman goes, we'll bring it right up to your room. Please, no charge. I said, please. Oh, God. Oh, of course, no charge. I gotta fucking wrap you. Anyway, that was the best one. For you, not for me. You had a good time. I had a good time. What? Pleasing you? That's your job in life. Is that my job in life? Yes. Right, I'm going to taste this peach bourbon. I hope it grows on me, because... You love peaches. I love peaches, and I love bourbon, yet... You know, I wanted the cherry bourbon, Red Stag, and the scumbags didn't have it. I'm very mad at that. And now I got this peach thing, I gotta knock off a bottle of peach, and I don't even like it! That's why I told you to go to Target, just because I wanted to go to Target. If you went to the liquor store, you would have found it. Goddamn liquor store. That's what I need. But I want to go to Target. But I took her to Target. Again. Got to see the new chip in Joanna. Yeah, I'd like to chip your Joanna. Next. Chaz Athey says, Christine, can we see your beautiful nails? Did you tell him I went to get my yeah, nails? Yeah, I said we might be a little late because you went to get your nails. And I don't know how long that takes. Who the fuck knows? She disappears. I'm going to get a highlight. I'm going to get a touch-up. I'm going to get a fucking whatever the fuck they get. 
One time it's a half hour, 20 minutes, two and a half hours. Oh! I got a pedicure and I get a half hour massage. Nice. I got to go for a massage. There's an Asian place down on 192. Go ahead. Have a happy ending. Hey, it's like a Disney. Every Disney has a happy ending. (laughs) She wants you to play with the bones, right? She wants me to hold the bones. Right? Near Disney, it should be a happy ending. No, that's not the right happy ending. Oh, it's the right happy ending. Next! Um, Michael Petrito said, what do you think of the Rangers' first game win? That was a great win. Four goals? Fantastic. Uh, I think the Rangers got a good shot. They got a lot of talent. They skated great, but let's see. One game does not make a series. So, But I'm very excited about the Rangers this year. Maybe this is the year. Happy birthday, Dwayne. Dwayne? Dwayne. The Rock? No. Just a, just a Dwayne. <clears throat> Kim Kennedy wants to know if we've en- ever been to Vero Beach Resort. No, we haven't been to that one. No, we haven't been, but uh, it sounds quite fetching. The boardwalk is nice. The boardwalk we've been to. We've been to every place in Disney. The beach Club is nice. Beach Club. Beacho. A Beacho. Next. Um... Donna Sorrentino asks, Christine, what's your favorite cocktail to drink? Right now, I'm liking the Aperol Spritz. Aperol Spritz? Yes. Sounds like he's from the Negro League. Aperol Spritz threw four no-hitters in the Cleveland mudslingers. Lisa Padula says, how come you don't boycott Disney with all their wokeness? Because I love Disney, that's why. And uh, all the wokeness is from the top two douchebags on top. But otherwise, I love it. I have, uh, I love the, the memories I have with my family. Look, it's just like the NFL. I fucking love football. And a couple of fucking thugs who fucking put shit on their helmet and accuse people and, and disrespect the flag, I, I fucking hate their guts. But they ain't ruining football for me. No, I'm still watching no, football. And the same is with Disney. There's a few fucking assholes running the thing, but overall, it's a great fucking place. Let me tell you, what are you doing by boycotting them? You think they're going to lose a dollar? You're just going to mess with people's lives who work minimum wage. That's true. There's a lot of people counting, but regardless of that. Len Mancuso wants to know when you're coming to the Alpine Club. What is the Alpine Club? I don't know. Maybe the Alpine Movie Theater? I don't know. I don't know either. But the Alpine Club sounds very nice. Sounds like there's cigars and bourbon. John Bianchino says, bring the uh, liquor with you on Sunday. He'll drink it for you. I can't. I can't bring it on the plane, John. But uh, that sounds like a plan. We'll drink something. Don't worry. Joanne Townsend says, you go, Christine. You deserve it. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, you go. I tell you to go. But she comes back. Andrew Romano wants to know if you like clam pie. Clam pie? That sounds like a... <laughs> uh, I've had clam pie in Connecticut. The first two times I had it, it was magical. The third time? Wasn't I disappointed? What? The third, the clam pie yeah. in Connecticut. But we saw a lot of people sending their pies back. Unbelievable. That famous place in Connecticut that has uh, the, the great pizza. I had the clam pie there. It was an amazing old brick oven. Fantastic place. We went there. I take a bite of the clam pie. I'm like, this isn't the way it was. Guy next to me in the booth goes, I've been coming here for 40 fucking years. Oh, this is the worst pie I got. I never, I never sent it back ever. So they were having a bad day. But a good clam pie is a good clam pie. Kim Kennedy says, mm-hmm. did you hear about this BS with the baseball player raising hell because an airline had the gall to ask his wife to clean up the mess her kids made, entitled? Yes, but that's not the whole story. What is the whole story, Christine? The kid had a bag of popcorn. Yeah. And it was a little kid, and he dropped popcorn on the floor. Right. And the airline, uh, whatever you want to call them. The uh, stewardess? Yeah. She made a fuss that it's not safe for there to be popcorn on the floor. But this was after it landed. I don't know. 
But the point is, they made her get down on her hands and knees. Oh, fuck that. And clean up the popcorn, and she's pregnant. Oh, fuck that. No way. Let me tell you something. I took my dog on the plane, and they said the dog could come on the plane if it's in a carrier and it stays in it. Can't even, can't even get its head out. Oh, yeah, all right. They put, I put the dog down on the floor. The fucking plane took off. My dog was getting agitated. My dog was on my lap, half out of the bag. They were like, sir, sir, what are you going to do? Fucking land the plane for my dog? Go ahead. Get the fuck out of here. Just fucking serve the peanuts. They get a little bit of a power trip. They get a power trip. And let me just tell you one thing. I remember that time I flew, we flew, my daughter was a baby. We were going to Disney. Two minutes into the flight, my daughter throws up all over me. They left me there. She didn't bring me a towel. Nothing. Nothing. But it was safe then, right? Fucking bastards. I wouldn't do that. Never. The kid made a mess. You're charging $400 for a plane ticket. Clean the fucking thing. Donna Sorrentino says, what's your favorite Chinese food to eat? Mm. I'm a fried rice girl. You are a fried rice, spare ribs. Mm -hmm. Girl. Now, it depends on the restaurant. Because we used to love mushu pork. Yeah. Oh. I, I loved it. But then you go to an area, you know, we move around and stuff. The mushu pork ain't that good anymore. And we got a place in Red Bank. New Jersey, tangerine beef. The best. <laughs> tangerine, not orange beef, tangerine. It's the same shit. Let me tell you something. This Chinaman makes it fucking amazing. I want to hug him. I want to hug him after we, after we get it. Red Bank, New Jersey. What's it called? Beijing? Beijing. It's right next to... Uh, Prep coffee. Prep coffee. Which is another great place. It was another great place. Right on the strip in Red Bank. Fantastic. We go for coffee at Prep next door. Oh, Danish. Beep, bop, boop. Bum, bum. Chinaman opens the door. Boom, lunch. Next. The only bad thing is. Uh-oh. With the lunch special, what do they serve? The salad. With like an Italian dressing on it. Not even like a ginger dressing. It's such a beautiful lunch. He gives you the rice. He gives you the dish. And then it com comes with a salad. It's like a regular salad. Who the fuck? It's like a boo in, Se in Seinfeld. He's got hot dogs. He's got spaghetti. No, a boo. And it's not even before the main entree. It's with. It's on the plate with Could the you imagine food. <laughs> Could you imagine chicken chow mein with the salad next to it? But he's trying. And I love that man. He's a good guy. And it's the only Chinese restaurant I've ever seen in my whole life that has... What? Non-Asian waiters. True. Yeah, the waiters are not Asian. Or well, Some of them are. Most of them are not. On the weekends, is not. They're Spanish? Couldn't even understand me? Right. But who cares if it's Italian or Spanish or whatever? If you can't understand, you can't understand. Chinese There's Italian. There's a lot of college kids working. College kids? My hat's off to him. My little uh, Asian hat is off to him for hiring kids. Carol Dudevel wants to know if you've been fishing. Uh, I have been fishing. Uh, I went fish. It's the first time in seven years that I haven't caught a fish when I fished in Florida. And that, amazing. But I knew it because the tide was too low. It was very, very shallow all the way. And it was very rough, the water. So I didn't think I would catch. I did get one bite. But it was the first time I didn't catch. Sarah Marquez says she bought her tickets to June 30th show in Brooklyn. Let me tell you something about the June 30th show in Brooklyn. It's for Childhood Heart, Child Children's Heart Association. So we're trying to raise money for that in Bensonhurst, Brooklyn, 86th Street and 13th Avenue, Knights of Columbus. Listen to me. You'll never get a deal like this ever. $40. It includes the ticket to see the greatest comedian of your time. And, I, and me too. It includes food. 
这个呢，怕是这个呢。I've been to this one before years ago, and the food there is fantastic. Fantastic, right? Because、yes. it's Italian food. Yes. It includes the beer. It includes the wine. It includes bourbon. How could you fucking not? Even if you don't like comedy, if you just want a a night out with food and drinks included. Holy shit! Margie Riccio says, "Freddie, on your next cooking show, can you make baked macaroni? What do you mean, like macaroni、hmm. and cheese, baked ziti, like what kind?" We don't know what kind she needs, but I'm glad that she watches the show and she wants to see more stuff. Well, if you want, look back on that、uh, skillet baked ziti is awesome. My wife makes a baked ziti. We call it skillet baked ziti because it's not baked; it's in a frying pan. And I tell you, it's the best ziti I've ever had, because I nothing I hate more than having ziti, and it's very dry. There's a little bit of regatta, a trace of uh, of sauce. This is such a delicious dish. Skillet baked ziti. Go, Fred Rubino. Skillet baked ziti. You will love it. John Bianchino said, "Did you hear they closed Lenny's Pizza?" Yes, that Lenny's Pizza sucked for a long time. But people liked it because it was in、yes. the Saturday Night Fever movie. Yeah, but here's the thing about Lenny's Pizza that I don't understand. And、uh, listen, I don't. I'm not a businessman. I don't know how to make a restaurant. But I see this a lot. The old guy goes, 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 and then he's like, "Okay, I don't want to do it anymore," and closes. And he's got kids. I don't understand it. I don't understand why you wouldn't at least just say, "Here, I'll, I'll train you as a manager, and I'm out." And as a manager, even if it's a family, hey, bring you. In. I don't understand how you close a business.、The、Keep it is, going. It's an iconic pizzeria because it was in the movie, and it's like mecca for the cuisines. So fucking train one person to make pizza. Keep it open. I, I don't get it. Take twenty percent. Give the manager eighty percent. Ah, I can't see throwing a fucking business that you created all that time and and just close it. I don't get it. Lori Conti Hafeli says, "Do you still have to wear a mask on the plane?" No, no that's been for a year now. No mask on the plane,、uh, but、uh, a popcorn bucket. Now you use. I would never fucking clean up. She was pregnant. Oh, he, shame on him. I would tell them, excuse me, my wife's pregnant. You have a cleaning crew come in. Here's twenty. I put a fucking twenty. Here's a twenty. Tell them to fucking vacuum it.、Mm. Sometimes I tip out of out of fucking rage. I've seen you tip somebody crazy money for nothing. It wasn't for nothing. He played a good guitar. But you don't give a guy that much of a tip. Let me just say one thing. We're at. We don't. We don't go out. We never go out. Do we ever go out? We go out. We go out a lot. All right. So what? So we went out. We had a nice dinner. I think it was at the、uh, Riviera. No. The Coronado. Coronado Springs. The Coronado Springs. Okay. Beautiful. Beautiful restaurant. Ah.、Uh, so. I'm in show business. I like a good show. I like good showmanship. Afterwards, we're like, "What do you want to do?" There's a bar in the lobby. We go to the bar. There's a guy playing guitar, acoustic guitar. No? He was fantastic. He was fucking fantastic. And I was like, "This is. I would pay fifty dollars to get in to see this guy." Ding 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 ding. No. Yes. I got there. I sat there with my bourbon. I watched it for a half hour, and I got up and I gave him a really big tip. So big that he came over and asked to buy us a drink, which we refused. First, he didn't want to take it. He went, "Dude, because it was crazy." Shut your mouth. What am I gonna do? Give it to her? It just goes to the fucking nail girl. I'm paying for this guy's, and I'm trying to encourage him to say, "Dude, 
I don't think you know how good you are. I grew up with Judas Priest, Black Sabbath, Deep Purple, yes! You understand? This fucking guy! Admit, I had a few drinks, I was feeling good, let the blessings flow. All I heard, I'm still hearing You could have gave him half, and it still would have been crazy too much to... I hope that guy says, you know what? You know what the best tip I got? I was playing in the fucking lobby of the Cornudo Hotel, and this guy got up. Handsome guy. Very handsome. Very old. Not that old. His wife was nagging him. I didn't think he was enjoying himself, but... And he, 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 boom! Daniel Sanson, he says, hand wash or at automatic car wash? I just had a hand wash. A hand wash? Yeah. Ow. God loves me. He does. I'm in town, having coffee, sitting down in the cafe, and a guy comes over, and he says, here, I do detailing for cars. I have, I never wax my fucking car. Fuck the car. It's me against the car. So I go, you know what? I should have my car waxed. So I said, how much? So detailing in this area costs about two and change. The guy goes, I'll do it for one, one and a quarter, 120. I was like, wax? He goes, yeah, yeah. I go, all right. I go, my son's got a car too. I'll tell him to bring it around and he'll do it. He goes, 160, both place. He did it all by hand. Wasn't that good of a job. But at least I got the car wax. It looks nice. And I tipped him big. Get out of here. He was a crackhead. He needs money. You're a ridiculous. You know, you know. He... I'm going to start taking money out of your pockets. <laughs> what else is new? Because you're just throwing money away. Now. I'm not throwing. The man's addicted to crack. You think they're giving it away, crack? If you're just going to give money to strangers. No, I'll... he's not a stranger. He was waxing my car. He was hooked on crack. His wife needed crack. You should have seen her. She was like, crack, crack, right, crack, crack. That's crack. it now. Tonight, I take the money out of the pocket. I'm smoking crack after this. I don't care. Next. Irene Patrick said, what's Christine's favorite meal that Fred makes? Or does he cook for you? He does not cook for me. What's the favorite meal? You just answered the question, nasty. What? What's the favorite thing I make for you? Egg in a cup. My Sicilian grandmother. Poor... You have no idea how poor we were. She would make a, tr this was a treat. You get a piece of bread, toast it, butter it. Cut it up into tiny cubes, smaller than a dice. Put it in a cup. Get a soft boiled egg or two. Put it in there, chop it up. So now you got the chopped up egg mixing with the bread and butter and all the, uh, the yolk. And I put a little salt, pepper for me, not for her. And when she eats it, it's like the greatest dish ever. Could you make that tomorrow? No, because you're nasty. <gasps> and I have a show tomorrow. I have to leave early. So it's breakfast. I, it's breakfast. I have to go. I have to prepare. I have to go. You could make it before you leave. I have to go there. I have to drink coffee. I have to take a nap. There's a lot, I, there's a lot of preparation to, to show business. You have no idea. Chris Max says, you need a chef's hat. Your cooking show is better than Martha Stewart, and you include a drink like Julia Child. Let me tell you something. This man knows his shit. I love Julia Child. I am Julia's child. But uh, what a nice thing to say. But, but listen, you have guys seen it. People comment, how dare you talk to her like that. I hate this guy. Threatening. So I love the good vibes. Love it. All we do it for is to perpetuate these recipes and to make things so you can cook at home. Easy. 17 minutes. 17 minutes. Lori Contiafelli wants to know if we can make a bolognese sauce. We never did a bolognese. We never did a bolognese. And you make a very good bolognese. I do. Uh, we're, getting, we're getting to that. We have bolognese coming up. Uh, I think I'm going to do a special again on how to make your own cheese. Uh, we'll do that again. We're going to show people how to squeeze a lemon. We're going to show people how to squeeze a lemon in a special edition. I got fucking 15 messages. That's not the way you squeeze a lemon. I'll fucking show you how to squeeze a lemon. Also, we're going to be doing ravioli soon. 
Yes. It's just like a fucking crazy thing my wife invented that's fucking amazing. Um, and also, I'm going to do a thing in, uh, in, in the summer, in June, early June to July. We're going to make our own gobble ghoul. I'm gonna, we're going to do it. I'm going to tell you two weeks ahead of time to get this stuff and we're all going to do it together. So that's going to be exciting this summer. We're going to make gobble ghoul. I ain't eating it. I don't care. I don't care. You're going to make me sick. It's gobble ghoul. I don't like it. You're crazy. I don't like when you make cheese. I don't like when you make gobble ghoul. The cheese is just fucking I magical. I like to buy it from the store. Ah, you in the store. That's, it. that's why I gave the crackhead money. Next. Donna Davis says, what color did you do your nails, Christine? A dark burgundy on my toes. Dark burgundy on the toes. I don't do pastels. I don't care what season it is. I like dark colors. Just for your information. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Next. Um, Daniel Sinise says, do you have a cereal of choice? We're not cereal people. What's my favorite cereal? Captain Crunch with Crunch Berries. Captain Crunch with Crunch Berries. My favorite. And uh, you know what's great about Captain Crunch? You eat it, and, and I always overeat it. You fill up two bowls, and you eat it, and you're like, ah, you feel like you accomplished something. Then later that day, you go, uh, uh, let me have a slice of pizza. You go to eat it, and you don't know that the roof of your fucking mouth has been shredded. And you're like, ah, with the sauce. Ah, Captain Crunch mouth. So that's good. You always remember it throughout the day of the Captain Crunch. What else? I'm looking. Fred, you were sweet to give the tip, and he appreciated it. He appreciated it. Donna Schiavo. 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 Sh what? I don't know. What? Do you know how to... Did they didn't teach you a New Year trick? How to fucking read? Schiavo. Yeah. I didn't go to New Year tricks. I went to Catholic high school. Yeah, I don't believe it. You picked me up there. I did not. You did too. Those are your other boyfriends. Oh, yeah, the cute ones. Yeah, thank you. The ones that were nice to me. Yeah, gonna have a fucking aneurysm soon. But anyway, let me just say one thing. Uh, I went to give the guy the tip, and he's seen it, and he goes, bro, no. I was like, dude, you made a fucking night. I would pay this and be so happy if I was in a club. I'm in the fucking hotel. You're still talking about this? They asked. She said, Scavo. Jeez. Joe Brunicelli says, do you like sour cream and bananas? No. I've had sour cream, not sour cream, bananas with like Greek yogurt, but not sour cream. No, that's the devil. Don't ever mention it again. It sounds horrible. Chris Max says, what are the fried potato, cheese, and parsley dough called? I have no idea. Don't even know what you're talking about. But it sounds magical. They want you to make the egg in a cup. Didn't you make the egg in a cup? I might have made the egg in a cup as an homage. Yeah, but you didn't make it like on the cooking show. You might have did that when you were just eating breakfast Just eating morning. breakfast one morning. You know what? We'll do the egg in a cup. We'll do it next month. I can't next Monday. I'm on the road. Yeah, so the, the show won't be there this Monday, but the Monday after that, we'll consider doing Egg in a Cup. So I fucking love it. And it, it will be uh, a tribute to my Sicilian grandmother, who didn't speak any English, and was very poor, and was the most loving human being i come and encounter with. Definitely the best. Donna Sorrentino says, you're Italian, Fred. Have you ever ate or made an Italian Carosa? We've eaten it in restaurants. It's very good. It's what, mozzarella and Carosa? Yeah, well, that's, that's what she's talking about. That's my favorite thing to get at a restaurant. Let me tell you something. Fans of my cooking show know that I made out of Wonder Bread the little ragotta in the bread yes. and then fried it. Yes. That's better than any mozzarella and carosa. I get crazy now. Bullshit. Listen. Bullshit. Go to Goodfellas Pizzeria and get oh, some. Goodfellas food. makes a fantastic. They got a new pizzeria all the way down Highland Boulevard. It's all the way at the end now. 
They make a great pizza, a great mozzarella and carosa. Oh. Vodka pizza. Bros Jemmy hair. In Janini? Jemmy. In Jemmy? I don't know. Aunt Jemama? My favorite was when my silly mom made us egg in a cup and gave it to my kids. That's so great. You are my long lost brother. What a blessing that is. When you when the grandma interacts with the kids. Oh my grandmother. I can't wait to see her again. Next Mario Vitali says Mario Vitali? No, Vitali. Oh, I thought it was the ass grabbing Mario. Do you realize people copy your dinners after you put it on Facebook? After your show on Monday, the following day someone put on how to make lemon pasta on Facebook. Well, we've had it before. I've had another comedian who's a known fucking... Hasn't written a joke in 40 years. Known throughout the com comedy community for being the biggest hack joke stealer. Actually recreate one of my first shows himself. To the T. That when I told the story about my son going to school. He told the story about his son word for word. It's the way it is. Look, do you know how many times I see people posting on Facebook, hey, there's a new joke I wrote. And I see it was, it was my fucking joke. They opened for me like a year ago and now they're doing, and they got the balls to post it. You know, my problem is I'm playing this week, three shows. I'm trying to figure out which new stuff to do because I write. If you don't write jokes, don't fucking call yourself a comedian or a cook. Your new stuff is so funny. How do you know? Because I saw you do some. Which one? Oh, that? I, no, I'm talking about doing stuff I just wrote. I didn't even know you broke up. Hey, we don't talk anymore. I don't like you. Laura Belvin says, come to South Jersey, please. You're playing in... Jersey on uh, Saturday night. I am playing Saturday night at in Springfield, New Jersey. Uh, come see me at the Comedy Cove. Great place. And then after that in June, me and Goomba Johnny and Mike Murtachi, the singer, are going to be at MJ's in Old Bridge. Mm. That's going to be amazing, too. I'm going to start fucking blasting that out soon. So keep an eye on that. Um, did you ever eat, Margaret Riccio said, did you ever eat sheep's head back in the day? What does that mean? A sheep's head. Did you fall Oh, Gabuzel! Yeah. Yes, I've eaten Gabuzel, and I like Gabuzel. Uh, the brain, two things the fucking Sicilians do. First thing they do to skeeve everybody out, because it's a head. Ten people can't eat the head. So the name of the game is you skeeve everyone else out and you get the head. So the first thing the old time would do is he'll get his thumb and take the eye out of the sheep and, and you see him crush and everybody goes and no one touches it and then he eats all the stuff. Another thing is they crack it open and they eat the brain. I don't like the brain. But I do like the sheep's head. Gabuzel it's called. It's really Kabutzel with a C, but Sicilians always turn the C into a G. Like Galamad. Like instead of Kalamad, Kalamadi, it's Galamad. Like instead of Kabakola, it's Gabagul. That's, it's not just slang, it's the Sicilian dialect. We pronounce the C's G's. A little history for everybody. everybody people. This peach is starting to grow. Alex Manucas says, broccoli or broccoli rob? Broccoli rob. <laughs> Done right. You know how many restaurants I go to, broccoli rob's like wood? It's like, oh, we, we just blanch it. No, cook the fucking thing. I like it like spinach. Right? How many times it's like wood? No, you, you, it's like, like, you like it mushy. Ah, it's like wood. I eat a fuck. I, I go home, I shit a two by four. I don't need that. Ali Arena says, the precinct is watching you. You're the best comedian. She's been a fan for a long time. All my brothers and sisters and dogs in law enforcement, I appreciate all of you. I say this all the time. Take your time. Take your time. You're in a shit neighborhood. You're only going to get 
in trouble. Take your time. Gone a long way. Gotta get the chalk and do the outline. Please, don't put yourself on the line. These scumbags in New York and all these cities are trying, are, are fucking, they make believe you're the problem? Fuck them. If it, you know it's gang related and all that shit, take the long way. Listen to your favorite song, you know what I'm saying? Please. I think we're at the end of the line. Well, then let's wrap it up. Last, last question. Deborah Ann says, where is your dog? My dog is being good right now because I just fed her. I walked her. I pet her. She's a fucking lunatic. And I'm dog. holding the bone for her. And she's holding a bone for herself. So. That's what the I'm saying. The only dog in the world that you have to hold the bone. She doesn't eat the bone on her this own. This is a beast of burden that we bought. Last question. There's no more. No more. That's it. FredRubino.com FredRubino.com Buy a shirt. Come to the show wearing the shirt. I might bring shirts tomorrow. I'm not sure if I am going to. We'll see. But uh, other than that, I'll see you at the show tomorrow. Naples, Florida. And I'll see everybody at the Comedy Cove. This Saturday, and in Pottstown, Pennsylvania, I will see everybody at Piccolo Mondo Restaurant. Fantastic Italian food. I love dinner shows. I love them. And that's what's good about the Comedy Cove. They have the best steaks in all of Jersey. And if you're in South Jersey, take the ride to Springfield. It's not that far. Take the ride. We'll hang out afterwards. You give me a lift home. Freddie Rubino here. I'll talk to you later. Don't forget to share it like it's your sister.